shout out to the producer from Swindon Farm, BXL Studios, Malay Harrison Show. He killed it, fam. Any music you're gonna be here on the air, he made it, fam. So shout out to him, fam. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Mic check, what's up? What's good? Mic check, what's up? Hey, what's good? Hey, what's up? Hey, mic check. What's up? Hey, what's good? Mic check, what's up? One, two, one, two. Mic check, what's up? One, two, one, two. Nah, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> what's up, people? What's good? just in the house i'm locked down i've got nothing to do all day every day so i need to learn to talk to the mic inside i'm gonna make love to this mic by the time i i leave this lockdown fam i'll be married me and this mic will be like mr and mrs the mic will be the miss because jesus christ this mic this mic is looking thick right now (laughs) then i'm just joking people no sex for three weeks so this this podcast it's gonna be it's bad news and I, I know it's gonna be bad news i might take a girl on a date imagine taking a girl on a date on a podcast fam ladies would that be the sexiest thing anyone ever done to you like let's go on a date and then you come to to do a podcast let's 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 make a podcast let's talk yeah if you're single out there and you got the balls for and you don't mind kissing this mic or <laughs> no, no, i'm just I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just that guy. I talk about anything from like right now I've been talking. Right now I'm talking about I've got two chairs in front of me right now. They're just there. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm not trying to sound like I'm boring. I'm not boring. I'm a, I'm a fun guy. But a podcast you have to you have to actually manage this funness. You have to you have to say something that you know someone will laugh at it. That's the hard thing about the podcast. Because normally you say a joke, someone is laughing. Boom. Ah, someone is already laughing. But right now, I'm telling this joke and I'm hoping like when someone listens to this podcast, they are dying laughing from. Shit, I'm fucked. So I need to start paying people. To- <laughs> I need to start paying people to laugh at my jokes from. Shit, I thought I was a funny guy, but now I'm realizing, oh my God, maybe I'm not that funny. After all, because right now, whatever I'm saying is not funny until someone listens to it. Then after that, then it's funny. You get what I'm saying? Like, uh, I could say a joke like, why did the chicken cross the road? I could find, <laughs> I could find that joke as funny as fuck. And then someone be listening to this podcast, they'll be like, uh, I don't understand this joke. This guy, I thought, I thought they said this guy was funny for yeah, I'm funny in, in person, not 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 on, the, not on the podcast. So if you don't find me funny, come come meet me at King's Fate, fam. All the jokes are alive there every day. I'm I'm I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm laughing because I, I find it funny. You see what I'm saying? I find some of the things like the funny thing about me is that some of the stuff I say, I actually find it funny myself. Like. Like, like some of the stuff I say, I find them funny before I say them. So, like sometimes I'll be thinking of something, and then the right time. So, so the right time will actually come. But then, it's like it's like sometimes you're thinking of of a joke. Like let's say three weeks ago, I'm thinking of something, and then that thing just goes. Like that's it for me. Like I'm like yeah, that's it. We're done. Nothing else to do. And then you. Three weeks later, someone come up with the with a situation that goes the same way as the sort of the joke you thought three weeks ago. And then you're like, yo, this is the right time for me to drop this joke. I don't know if it's going to be funny or not. Like, uh, sometimes it's not going to be funny. Sometimes it's offensive. Like recently, my, my, my most recently, my most recent 
offensive joke was about Corona fam. So this guy, what this guy did is like, he's in the military. This guy went to, went to serve in the military. And then his wife came to the shop to, to bring the son to get a haircut. Everything happened. The haircut was fine. The kid was happy with the haircut. The mom was happy with the haircut. But for some reason, she started talking while she's going out. And then someone asked, like, ah, oh, how's, how's the husband? So you see what I'm saying? Me, I was thinking, like, ah, this joke is not offensive. This joke is not funny at all. And then I had to drop my joke from. But then after I dropped my joke, I realized, yo, people are sensitive out here, fam. I cannot repeat the joke, but the joke was funny. To me, it was funny, but to people, it was like, yo, bro, that's the wrong time, fam. You can't be asking. It's like, it's like ah, let me tell you the joke anyway. I said to this lady, like, ah, we haven't seen the guy. I thought Corona took the guy. So you see what I'm saying? To me, I found the joke funny because the guy is still alive. But somehow, every, every, including barber, customers, they found that joke offensive. I'm like, bro, are you not finding that funny, fam? Because imagine, like, someone is alive, but then the joke is there to be said. But then, it's a <laughs> to me, I was like, yo, this joke is funny, fam. But people are like, yo, that joke is sensitive, fam. I was like, the husband is alive. It's not like he's dead, fam. So most people are like offended by that joke because they they say the husband is still alive. So me, I'm like, yo, I'm not I'm not saying the guy is dead. I'm just saying it's funny that so you can I know the joke is offensive. I know. Now I know it's offensive because if you are listening to this, just make sure you delete the last minute. I don't know how you're gonna do that, but because <laughs> I don't wanna delete it. I want you to listen to the joke. So you be the judge of the joke if it's offensive or not. Because that you know sometimes you, you think on your feet, fam. You have to say what's coming. Don't don't even don't even wait. I'm that guy. Sometimes I say it like you know I'm that you know the comeback king. I'm the comeback king, fam. I always got something to come back with. You see what I'm saying? Even if it's not funny, it has to come back the right time. You have to bring something. If someone says something, I have to. If like someone say you're ugly, yeah, you're ugly, but. Uh, at least I get girls. You are handsome, but you can't get girls at all. You see, that's a comeback king, fam. Like wh one time, one time I was in a barber shop, and then this guy. That day I was, I was pissed, fam. I was pissed. Th this joke was like, a, it was not a joke as such, but I was like thinking like I was not having a good day. And then this guy came up like, yo, you, you are gay. I was like, to, to myself, I was, I was thinking like, I'm gay. Okay, and then. The first thing that came to my mind was like, if I'm gay fam, you gonna be my first boyfriend. <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? The guy got offended fam. This joke offended this guy like to the point of this guy was like, what's wrong with this guy? You see what I'm saying? No, because I'm trying. If you trying to get me, I'm trying to get you too. I'm not saying, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get you because it's a joke. Jokes are meant to be funny, but in a way, you're meant to offend people as well because. Somehow jokes can correct you in like, uh, let's say if you're doing something wrong, I can say a joke right now. Like if you're not subscribing to my, to my, to my Spotify or iTunes, why are you not subscribing fam? Is it because I'm not funny? You need to subscribe to this, to this channel fam, because I'm the funniest guy you probably know fam. So I'm probably the funniest guy on, on TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I don't know why I say TikTok. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to think of something to say. This is me. I'm thinking of something to say right now. I'm looking at this time. It's 10 minutes. Oh, my God. If you have been listening until this moment, I would like to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom and top of my heart as well. Bottom and top. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you for making it this far. Thank you for joining us on levels podcast this is gonna be a new thing fam it's gonna be coming to you once in a while two weeks three weeks or once every week depends how it goes fam make sure to make sure make sure to subscribe to the show in itunes we're gonna be on spotify as well tell tell please tell a friend 
Don't forget to tell your friend because your friend might be missing something good. I would, I would appreciate that if you tell your friend. And I would appreciate it if you, if you make sure you rate us on iTunes as well. That's how, apparently, that's how you get your... You, the word out there on iTunes that you arrived. If no one rates you, no one will know you arrived. So please make sure you let iTunes know Towers has arrived on iTunes. Time to shut down iTunes. Been shutting down tree. No more tree. So we shut down iTunes. Let's go. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's go. But <laughs> you know how it goes. So if you want to know anything about the podcast, make sure to follow on uh, on Instagram, Twitter. No TikTok. No TikTok. Facebook, Instagram. Make sure the name is the same. Anything you want to know, just direct message me. If you got anything you want to ask, so I can talk about it on the 